this is synthetic division. These are the notes on synthetic division. All right. Now, the synthetic division we have can only be used when you're dividing by a linear binomial. Remember, linear means the highest exponent is 1, and it's a binomial. It's two terms. All right. Now, all right, and this is how we're going to do it. So the first step is figuring out what are you dividing by. I know it looks obvious. Is it, aren't you dividing by x plus 4? Well, yes and no. The technique we're going to use is strips it of all the variables, and you only deal with the numbers. So what we're going to do to strip the x from that, we're going to set this equal to 0 and solve for x. So it's pretty straightforward. So you get x equals negative 4. Now, the format of this technique, you put a little negative 4 in a little box like this, and then you copy all the coefficients, right? Starting from the far left, and you got to make sure there are no terms skipped. And when I mean terms, I mean like if I have x to the third, the next one must be x to the second, and then the next one is x, and the next one is nothing else, is a uh, no x. So that's going to be 7, 29, 9, and 20. And you, some of you may be asking, well, what if there is something missing? I'll, I'll cover those in a minute. And then leave some space for some numbers, put a line underneath, and put another cubby hole down there. All right. Okay. Once you got all the numbers copied and you got your divisor here, you're going to bring the first number down. It comes down as a 7. And then you're going to take the negative 4 and multiply by 7. That's going to make negative 28. And then you're going to add 29 plus negative 28 is 1. And then take the negative 4, multiply by 1, and you get negative 4, and you put it here. And then you add 9 plus negative 4 is 5. And then you take your negative 4, multiply by 5, and then you put the product here. So that will be negative 20. And then you add. And I get zero. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now, so what is the answer? Remember, we're dividing, right? If you remember the first group of division, what we're going to do, look at the exponent up here. It's x cubed. And the answer is going to have one less exponent. So it's going to be 7x squared. And then each one, the exponent is going to go down each time. So that's going to be plus 1x, or just x. And the next one should have no variable at all, so it's plus 5. The little cubby hole over here is the remainder. So this one has no remainder. So the answer to part E is 7x squared plus x plus 5. That's the answer. Okay? All right. That's example E. Let's go on to example F. So if you set this equal to 0 and solve, you get x equals 7. So just 7. This one is missing terms. There's an x to the fourth missing. All right, and x to the fifth is a coefficient of one, and then zero. So whenever you have a missing term, you must put a zero. Notice because there are no variables in this in the way in this setup, if you leave off a zero, you won't know to leave a space. Okay, so you must put in zeros. All right, for missing terms, you must put in zeros for missing terms. And you got negative 39, negative 70, 5, and then negative 4. All right. Then draw a nice long line and put a little cubby hole at the end. So again, bring down the 1. Bring down the first term. All right. Bring it down. Now you multiply. 7 times 1 is 7. Add. 0 plus 7 is 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Add negative 39 plus 49 is 10. Multiply 7 times 10 is 70. Add negative 70 plus 70 is 0. Multiply 7 times 0 is 0. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 times 5 is 35. Wow. Okay. 35. 35. Here. And then negative 4 plus 35 is 31. Really? Yeah. 
So this time I have a remainder of 31. Oh, I copied the problem wrong. It's negative 41, not negative 4. So instead of 31, it's negative 6. Hmm. I made the most common error, copying the problem incorrectly. Right? Some of you probably say, oh, Mr. Schweitzer, you copied it wrong. Well, I caught it. Okay. Right? Negative 4, negative 41. So final remainder is negative 6. All right. So the beginning problem was x to the fifth. So that means this is now x to the fourth. So it's x to the fourth plus 7x cubed plus 10x squared plus 0x. I'm not going to bother to write the 0x. I'm just going to put plus 5. And that's the remainder. Remember how to write the remainder. It's minus 6 over the divisor, x minus 7. All right? So this is the answer. OK, that's it. Let's go on to G. So all these examples are similar. Oh, this one looks a little different. 4x plus 2. I'm going to go ahead and take the effort and set it equal to 0 and solve. So 4x plus 2 equals 0. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. It gives me 4x equals negative 2. And then divide by 4. And I get x equals negative 1 half. Right. So go over here. The little box is going to put the negative 1 half. And then you put in all these things. Uh, am I missing any exponents? 4, 3, 2. I'm missing the 2. 1, 0. So 12, 4, exponent of 4, exponent of 3 is 6. I am missing the exponent of 2, so I'll put a 0 in its place. And then the other two, 12 and 6. Make it nice long. All right. And make a little couple down here. Bring down the first term. So that's 12. Negative 1 half of 12 is negative 6. 6 and negative 6 is 0. Negative 1 half times 0 is 0. Uh, 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 1 half times 0 is 0. 12 plus 0 is 12. Negative 1 half times 12 is negative 6. Add, and you get 0 again. All right. So this is x to the fourth. So this is x to the third. 12x to the third plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 12. Plus 12. And there's no remainder, so that is my answer. OK. All right, last example in synthetic division. All right, so this is going to end up being 5 sevenths. I'll go ahead and show you how I got 5 sevenths. So it's 7x minus 5 equals 0. Add 5 to both sides. And I get 7x equals 5. Divide by 7. And I get x equals 5 sevenths. All right, so I'm dividing by 5 sevenths. So I put a 5 over 7 here. I know some of you are weak with multiplying or with fractions. Um, you are allowed to use a calculator. I encourage you to use the calculator. Is this missing any terms? 4, 3, 2, 1, none. So no. I just want to put it in all of them. I don't need any zeros this time. Oh, I should give myself more space. All right. Bring down to 7. All right. 5 7 times 7 is 5. Uh, it's 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Add. It's 21. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Add. What's that? That's a 56. 56 divided by 7 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Negative 63. Negative 63 divided by 7 is negative 9. Times 5 is negative 45. Combine, and you get negative 10. All right. This was x to the fourth, so this is now x to the third. So it's 7x to the third plus 21x squared plus 56x minus 63 minus 10 over, don't forget their divisor was 7x minus 5. 7x minus 5, and that is our answer. Okay, uh, I'm going to put the other one, synthetic substitution, in a separate video.